Iran has a new president and it's raised some possible rethink in Israel. The Prime Minister's office says Hassan Rouhani will be no different than his predecessor, but some folks believe now's the time to reach out to the Iranian people. Arie O'Sullivan reports. Since the inauguration of Hassan Rouhani, the Prime Minister and officials in his office have been warning he's no different than his predecessor Ahmadinejad and the world shouldn't be fooled by his moderate tone. This morning, senior sources leaked a message of concern that expressed doubts in the intentions of the American administration to prevent Iran from getting nuclear weapons at all costs. His sources said that the behavior of the Washington administration towards Syria contradicts President Obama's red lines and teaches Israel that it cannot rely on American promises. The source also added for good measure that Israel can carry out a military operation against Iran also without American military support. There is a concern here that direct negotiations will open between Washington and Tehran that will bring an easing of sanctions in exchange for Iranian concessions that will not meet the demands set by Israel. These concerns are not lost to the Americans, and U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel last night urged Iran to take quick steps to resolve the international community's deep concerns over its new indicated he'll take a less confrontational approach to nuclear talks in a bid to get rid of sanctions and revitalize the Iranian's economy. Some Israelis, like defense commentator Ron Ben Ishai, believe that it's a recipe for disaster, since a compromise allowing Iran to enrich low level uranium is exactly what Israel fears, since it would bring them to the brink of a red line needed to make the bomb. At the same time that the officials are spreading fear of Iran, there are those in Israel who believe that friendship and peace can exist between the people of Iran and Israel. As a, as a Jew, as, a, as an Israeli, I want him to know that our people are very similar. And that there, there should never be a war or violence between us. Well, film director and editor Joseph Shamash has created a short cinematic piece called One Wish for Iran, Love Israel. A Jewish boy from Texas with Persian roots. Shamash talked to the Israeli man on the street and asked, if you had one wish for Iran, what would it be? Here's part of the clip. But you hated us. They told me that we were too different, that you had different values and married for different reasons, that you loved differently and looked differently and read different books that spoke of a different God that, well, didn't like my God so much. So I prayed that my God would have a coffee with your God and maybe a good laugh and a conversation. I prayed that love could be enough. I prayed that love could be enough. I prayed that love could be enough. أنا بس تمني كتير صغير من الأراضي المقدسة لا إيران. إحنا لازم نساعد بعض مشان الله يساعدنا. مش أكثر من هيك. ولا كل الشعب المسلم والمسيحي واليهودي حتى نعيش مع بعض كل ياتنا بسلام وأخوة كأبناء لله. شكرا. Filmmaker Joseph Shamas joins me now in the studio. Welcome, Joseph. Thanks for having me. What are you trying to accomplish with this film? Uh, um, honestly, we were out there just wanting to talk to people and wanting to hear perspectives of, you know, voices on the ground. And personally, I'm Persian. I'm born in Texas. And, you know, conf my conflicting Jewish, Persian, American identity that I struggle with myself, you know, if there's some way that I can hopefully, or this film, and can bring some kind of message of, you know, solidarity and hope, and that our similarities far outweigh our differences. I think. What kind of response have you gotten so far? So far, it's been pretty incredible. We uh, we launched launched just over a day ago, and we're close to 10,000 hits on YouTube. We've been getting incredible responses from people in Iran. Um, we've been news articles, and ended up over here. So real quickly, so. Fortunately, it's been a lot of positive response, and um, of course, there's always some backlash, but um, overwhelmingly, it's been very positive. And is there anything that surprised you as you conducted the interviews? Um, I was actually very surprised at how willing and open people were to have a conversation with us. Um, the people that we worked with, Raphael, Andrew, Jeff, and Alhanan, um, the way they were able to speak to people, have a conversation, so they were very comfortable coming in front of the camera. And I think the question that we asked allowed um, the development of people to actually share very emotional, impactful comments. 
that's the hope. The hope is definitely that we're in the process of translating it into Farsi to have Farsi subtitles. And I, apparently I heard Hassan Rouhani has a new Facebook page, so we're going to post it on his Facebook page and see if he, he'd like to see it himself. Did you find any Israelis who are really concerned about the Iranian nuclear program and are not so uh, willing to reach out through a video but, uh, and say that I Israel should attack? and destroy the Iranian nuclear program. For the people that we met, there was not that sentiment. Um, there was mostly a sentiment of, we don't want to fight anymore. We, there's no, we, like, we just want to enjoy our life. We want to live in peace. And the people know that the Iranian people themselves want to live just like that too. And unfortunately, the government that's in Iran doesn't allow a lot of that, um, that sentiment to come out. Do you have plans possibly to uh, try to enter this into some film festivals around the world? That is, the, that is definitely the goal. We're hoping to enter into film festivals, take it into classrooms, teach about life in Israel, kind of something that you see behind, beyond the headlines, um, talk about conflict resolution and a variety of things. So there's a lot of plans. We hope to make a, uh, develop a lot more videos and educational content. Well, as you said, you've only been out for a day or so uh, with the, the, the clip up on YouTube. but. Looking ahead, uh, have you had time to look ahead, first of all, and if so, what, what kind of project would you like to tackle next? So one of the other questions that we were asking when we were out was, for, for me, me and my crew, we've been spending a lot of time in Jerusalem studying, learning in yeshiva, and the, the divide between the secular and religious that we see over here um, is really an, a topic that we feel that we, can ta we can tap into and show that the perceptions that we see of each other just by what we wear or what we think what a Chiluni person is or a Haredi person is, that there's so much still unifying us. And I think there's, it's really unfortunate that there's such a divide um, in Israel right now. So hopefully that's the next, the next video and many more after that. We've got great ideas. We wish you luck in all of your endeavors. Joseph Shamash, filmmaker and film editor, thanks for being with us on IBA News. Thank you for having me.